everyone, it's Miss Daisy, and today I want to read you the book called How Much is a Million by David Schwartz. If one million kids climbed onto one another's shoulders, they would be... Taller than the tallest buildings, higher than the highest mountains, and farther up than airplanes can fly. If you wanted to count from one to one million, it would take you about 23 days if a goldfish bowl were big enough for a million goldfish. It would be large enough to hold a whale. Presto, 100 stars. If this book had a million tiny stars, they would fill 70 pages. Climb aboard. Oh, it says here, there you would have 100,000 stars if we, take the se if we take this seven page journey 10 times, we'll pass a million stars. Let's do that later. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. How big is a billion? If a billion kids made a human tower, They would stand up past the moon. If you sat down to count from one to one billion, you would be counting for 95 years. If you found a goldfish bowl large enough to hold a billion goldfish you would be as it would be as big as a stadium if this book had a billion tiny stars its pages spread side by side would reach almost 10 miles How tremendous is a trillion? If a trillion kids stood on top of each other, they would reach way, way, way beyond the moon. Beyond Mars and Jupiter too, and almost as far as Saturn's rings. If 
you wanted to count from one to one trillion, it would take you almost 200,000 years. If you put a trillion goldfish in a goldfish bowl, the bowl would have to be as big as a city harbor. If you put a trillion of our stars onto a gigantic roll of paper, it would stretch all the way from New York to New Zealand. The end. It has some fun facts, I think. Taller than some children are tall and some are short. If you wanted to count. And about goldfish. And about tiny stars. So that's the end of this book. Um. So until next time, I hope to read you another interesting book. Bye.